You see, the Canadian dollar has a big paranormal bar. Let's see how it behaves. These kinds of moves always make me nervous because I can't explain them. And when I can't explain something, I stay out of it. The Australian dollar, though, is behaving very well. Let's check out today's assets. Here's the euro dollar. As you can see, uh, I moved the level a bit. It used to be here. You can see two false breakouts, but I moved the level over here. I'll tell you why. That's because that big paranormal bar stopped the fall. After it, there was a slight pullback. So this makes it a very strong level. The low of that bar is 1.10455, and it's a strong level to watch. The next level is still 1.1008. See the strong accumulation here? From the 15th or even the 10th of August, the asset stayed above 1.10500. If we actually break out this level, the market could fall because of these players. Watch this level closely. It is really strong. If we manage to break it out, we'll probably fall lower. But see, there's another level nearby. So it won't be a steep fall. But if we start dropping, we'll at least know who's behind it. Now, let's look at NZD. It's stuck in a tough zone. Breaking out sharply will be hard. But remember one thing, all these pairs we're analyzing here are basically tied to the US dollar. So if something happens with the USD, we might see sharp drops. Next is the yen. Today's move caught completely out of the blue. See, the price of the asset just spiked. These kinds of moves always make me nervous because I can't explain them. And when I can't explain something, I stay out of it. So it's crucial to watch how the price will behave near the level. See, the levels haven't changed. I haven't changed anything, but the level could be adjusted slightly. Uh, here's the level where the fall started from where the high was updated. We'll see how the end reacts. Now the Australian dollar. See, even though NZD started dropping, AUD is holding up pretty well. It showed no big drops. It's looking pretty solid. There aren't any clear levels for short or long positions. Honestly, the Forex market feels a bit heavy right now. Let's move on to CHF, the Swiss franc. I still don't get why this currency matters so much. It's a tiny country with less than 10 million people, yet everyone pays attention to it. But it's had strong accumulation since August, so we'll see how it behaves around the levels. Next up, GBP. You can see it now. Uh, let's tweak this level a bit. We're trying to enter the short zone. See? We couldn't break out the high. A look at these levels. I have marked them as high. I've got weekly and monthly levels. Ever since Gurchik and company started, uh, I've had these levels drawn out. We're now trying to enter the short zone uh, again. We tried once and we'll try a second time. It's a pretty tight channel, so it's all about uh, spotting the fall. Uh, now, moving on to the Canadian dollar, you see that huge paranormal bar on the chart. We'll see how it plays out. If I see the CAD hanging around here tonight, I'm definitely going to short it. Uh, now, oil. Uh, obviously, uh, the, with the conflict in the Middle East, oil prices have shot up almost 10%, which is a decent move. Uh, five years ago, this would have led to a much stronger market rally. So I definitely keep an eye on it, but so far, nothing too crazy or alarming. We've gone from $70 to nearly 10% higher in two days. These moves are hard to predict, especially with sudden flare-ups like bombing in the region. If Israel bombs Lebanon or Iran bombs Israel and the Middle East, of course, it's going to shake things up in the oil market for sure. Oil is obviously incredibly reactive to it. Moving on. Ether. Everything's dead. BTC. By the way, I recommend it to short BTC. And it's been a great short so far. No clear sign of short so far. But if you look at Ethereum, it looks even worse than BTC. See, the level hasn't changed, but Ethereum's looking worse than BTC. All right, next up, gold. I didn't recommend silver yesterday, but I did suggest gold. Gold is near a really strong level. I still think it'll break out and head towards the 33,000 zone. Let's check what else we've got. 32.25, look at this closely. It's a very strong level. There's a big paranormal bar here. It will likely stop the price. I'm staying out for now. I'll wait to see how it moves by evening, and then I'll make a move. Gold's still holding at a strong level, 2,670. That's the level to watch. Now, S&P. There's nothing too scary on the S&P right now. No major fall as people expected. That's still normal. Not even a correction, really. We've dropped, what, five to 700 points? That's about 2%. See, just a 2% drop. It's so small, 
that there's no point in even talking about a major drop. So I wouldn't bet on a big fall for the S&P right now. And for the same reason, gold probably isn't going up either. Now, Polish Azwoty, it's entered the long zone. Let's move on. What do we have here? Here's the Euro-Canadian dollar. You can see we've had some movement. Both the Canadian and the Euro are on the move. It's a strong level. We need to watch it closely. They drop pretty fast. Uh, there's likely to be a small pause here. I'd watch for the pause, but, it was, uh, uh, but I wouldn't expect a continuation of the move just yet. Uh, keep an eye on the Canadian and the Euro, though. JGP per JPY. The Yen is starting to move, as you can see. We still have a level here. Here it is. Let's see how the asset plays out. The level could change a bit. Here's a new level for us. I'd watch how the asset moves. If it enters the long zone, we'll probably uh, push the asset up further. AUR per AUD is moving really hard. I try not to touch assets like this. It's a tough movement to deal with. Canadian dollar per Japanese yen. See, the yen is moving again. Here it is. And the Canadian is also on the move. So this pair is definitely worth watching. It's looking good. Great movement. SGD. Let's say this pair isn't super liquid. We're trying to get into the long zone. Someone will be there. No problem. Take a look. But don't expect anything too exciting here. So keep an eye on the move. For now, things are pretty quiet.